Hey guys, Jay here, welcome to Yonsabattle.com, and today I'd like to show you who I painted my Promethium Forge vertical chem tanks. Uh, Promethium Forge is a MDF terrain making company, and linked in the description below, you'll find links to their store and to their Etsy page. These are the paints I'll be using. So the first thing I did after putting the whole model together was I hit the whole model with some rattle can black matte primer. The first thing I did was I took some Vallejo Air Stonewall Gray, which is a very light gray, and I misted the whole model, kind of giving it a mottled coat. I didn't try too hard to get a very even coat because I want this to have a very old worn and metal look, and so I don't want any anything to look too clean on the model. Once that was dry, I then put a little bit of Vallejo Game Effect Dry Rust through my airbrush, and this is to continue to give it some mottled, dirty metal appearance. I gave it some spots to look like more heavily tarnished areas on the model. And then I'm going to be showing this top plate as an example of what I'm doing to the entirety of the model. The first, next thing I did was I dry brushed some Citadel Dry Raza Rust over the whole model. I can see in the corner I put it on a little bit too thick, so all I did was I mixed it with a little bit of water and then hit it with a paper cloth to knock it back down to the effect that I wanted to achieve. Now at this point I haven't put on any metal yet, and so I ended up putting on all of my effects before my metal, and this is what gives it the very, very aged look. Next up I took an old brush and I went back in with some Vallejo Game Effect Dry Rust and I stippled it across the entire base particularly places where people would have been walking. And I did this pretty heavily to the entire model. Once I had all my effects on, I then brought them all together with a wash of Games Workshop Airgrax Earthshade. Now that I had my metal done, I then went back in and I hit my pipes with a little bit of Games Workshop Hash Hot Copper. I want the whole model to look pretty similar in terms of tone and color scheme, but I did want some features to stand out, and those features are the pipes and the handrail. Once the Hash Hot Copper was dry, I then went in with some Vallejo Game Effect Verdigris, and I layered it on pretty thick, but I will eventually go back and knock it down with a little bit of watered down Hash Hot Copper, but I did want the colors to be very strikingly different from the rest of the model. Once that was done, I then dry brushed the entire model with some Games Workshop Necron Compound. This is what's gonna make it look like metal, and it's gonna help give a little bit of more definition to all of the features of the model. Once that was done, I watered down a little bit of Hash Hot Copper and then I went back over the pipes to help knock down the, the color of the vertigrees and to help bring together all of the colors in the model. And there's the finished model. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, you can leave a comment if you have any ideas or techniques you'd like to see us do. You can follow us at Facebook at EOB Fans, and you can follow us at Twitter at Eons of Battle. Thanks for watching.